Good morning, uh, Ivory Golf community. Uh, here we are in the 2022 edition. Uh, second time we do this. Uh, we did that uh, last year. Uh, just want to start by uh, thanking everyone here in the community for our, their, their continuous support. Uh, big uh, shout out to my wife that is always, uh, you know, she doesn't go mention, but she's a great help in what I have to do. And uh, to all of you, Michael uh, Glundalara, number four, thank you so much for always providing, you know, the, uh, the equipment and, uh, and the necessary uh, drone uh, photos or video that we use in our conversations. Uh, uh, to start, uh, I would like to say today just happens to be a special day. Uh, for a few uh, years, we have talked about starting a community garden uh, here next to the uh, area that is being kind of like uh, not used at number four. So we'll start this afternoon cutting and facilitating for that. Uh, uh, this year, uh, I would like to mention that uh, we will have uh, a meeting, our regular homeowner association meetings. Uh, I'm looking, hopefully, in the month of uh, July, uh, I'll try to get a gauge on when it is that most of us are here. So that way we take advantage and see each other face to face. Uh, the theme this year for the meeting uh, will be more around our future as a community and the things that we'll have to do to, to preserve you know, what we have accomplished uh, up to date. Uh, as you know, last year there were quite a few improvements that were made uh, throughout the community. Uh, later on, Michael will share some, of, uh, some, some aerial photos uh, uh, of uh, the plants and things that we planted. Uh, I'm here to say that I'm happy that I'll say 99% of them survived. And, and spring is almost here, so that's it's gorgeous. It means uh, one less thing that we had to do uh, this year in respect of the beautification of the community. Uh, there's a few things uh, that uh, I would like to, to talk about uh, in the meeting. One of them will be the even eventuality that we'll be having to paint the community. Uh, we have talked to a couple of, uh, let's call them experts, uh, they have looked around and they're giving us easy, uh, unless something extraordinary happens with the weather about, we, we have a good three to four years possibly before we'll, we'll have to do any type of uh, uh, painting. We did some repairs this past summer to, to to fix uh, some of the obvious things that were not uh, looking uh, precisely the way they should. So that's a discussion that we should have because it's a very important one and obviously uh, it costs money and we need to figure out you know, what is the most efficient way to, uh, to come with that money uh, at the time that we're gonna do that. Some of the people that we have talked to uh, regarding uh, the painting and, and uh, reparations that would be needed, uh, they, they have figures that range between 90,000 to 110,000 uh, euros, which is equivalent probably, let's, let's say between 2,500 to 3,000 uh, per, uh, per unit, which is uh, obviously you know, a, a, a large amount in some cases, but it, it, it's needed. But I want to, to bring that up now because that way, when we have the conversation in the summer about that, that we can say, okay, we're gonna do this over the three year period. So, so we should collect this money over a three year period and have it in a separate account so we can proceed with that. Uh, we also need to take into consideration, obviously, that uh, some of the cost have gone up, electricity, water, insurance, etc. I am not, uh, the, 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 the fees that we have right now are adequate, uh, but they don't ne not necessarily provide with a cushion that I would like uh, in, the, in the eventuality of a, a larger event. Uh, so we, we should consider talking about that, not talking about a considerable amount or anything like that, but just like we did last time, maybe something like uh, in the 25 to 30 euro per month additional. Uh, just food for thought, uh, 
because the time will come in which we, you know we have to discuss it you know uh, officially. Last, uh, during the last podcast, let's call it a podcast news, uh, we talked about uh, some of the things that we did last year. Towards the end of the year, we did uh, a very important one, which was the fixing of the entrance gate that were becoming like an issue. So we replaced both arms and both things. Uh, they're more efficient. Uh, and uh, in the event of, let's say, a power outage, that automatically would stay open. So it was a great uh, improvement to our community. Uh, this year uh, in my uh, site is uh, currently we move the water uh, of, of the community via the, the, what we call the, the regular uh, pipes. Uh, we do have a tank that is uh, basically in all communities and they do have a, a machine or a motor that, is the, that, that moves the water in the veins at low pressure. Uh, the one that we have is a very old one, it's very noisy, so that's something that I would like to this year tackle and, and, and change for something newer and uh, I expect that with all the construction around here we may have some, some low pressure, so it's good that we're prepared for that eventuality. Uh, other than that, there are no, uh, there are no repairs or uh, jobs that uh, we have pending. Uh, Michael has taken the time uh, to use uh, uh, the drone and do some aerial views of our surrounding areas in the community. As most of you know, there's a lot of construction going on, so there's some new projects happening. Uh, I do not know what they are. Obviously, some of them are obvious because it tells you in the front that they are uh, uh, houses or, or, or you know, uh, condos or whatever. Uh, that, that is good news. Uh, lights were installed all the way from uh, uh, the entrance uh, out of A7 to the hospital, which we did not, so that's an improvement uh, to our community. That's obviously an added value. Well, in the, in the idea of keeping uh, this short and informative, uh, again, I want to thank all of you. Uh, I'm looking out of my uh, terrace in here and the golf course is just happening. So all of you that like to play golf, I mean, this is just a place to go. It's very uh, nearby, something enjoyable as well uh, and part of our community. And again, thank you so much. We will be doing something uh, very soon. Uh, You'll get uh, information of when our next meeting is going to be. And uh, next time that Michael is in here, we'll continue doing some of these videos and some uh, uh, 
uh, some, some photos and information regarding the community. Thank you again to all of you and have a wonderful day. <laughs>